All right, let's look at the next problem. Six people participated in a checkout checker tournament. Each participant played exactly three games with each of the other participants. How many games were played in all? So what I would do on this problem is we know we have six people. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And we know that each player plays exactly three games with the other participants. So what I know is that player one is going to play against player two. They're going to play against player three. They're going to play against player four, player five, and player six. Player two has already played against player one. So they have to still play against player three, player four, player five, and player six. Participant three has already played the first player and the second player, so they have the fourth player to play against, the fifth player, and the sixth player. So you continue this pattern. Four only has to play five and only has to play six, and the fifth player only has to play six. The sixth player has already played all the other players um, based on the first few rounds. So if we look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen total games. If each player plays each player once, but the question says that they play exactly three games with each other, so I'm just going to multiply this by three, and it's forty-five total games. That's how I would figure out that problem. So, moving on. Oh man, don't do that. There we go. All right, so this one says, Abracadabra has four different coins with the values as shown at the right. Suppose you had just one of each of the four different coins. How many different amounts can be made using one or more of the four different coins? So I know that I could just use this coin by itself, this coin by itself, this coin by itself, and this coin by itself. So that's four different totals right off the bat. Okay? I know that I could take the coin valued at one and combine it with two. I could also combine it with four, and I could also combine it with eight. I could also combine it with two and four, or two and eight. I could also combine it with four and eight. Um, one, two, four, one, two, eight. Two, one, four, one, eight. One, two, four, one, four, yeah, okay. Uh, just making sure I have all that. All right, so then I know that coin two, so this is, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six more ways to do this, okay? So then I could also do, I could start with coin two, which I've already done by itself in this four count. I've already done it with number one. So I could do two and four and two and eight, or I could do, and I could do two with four and eight. So if I did that, that's three more ways. And the final coin I have is worth eight, which I've already done by itself, counted in this. I've already done it with number one. I've already done it with number two. I've already done it with some other ones. So, I'm sorry, I'm on coin four, not coin eight. So four I've done by itself. Four I've done with one. Four I've done with two. So I could just do four with eight. So there's one more way to do it. So that's 10, 13, 14. So the total amount of ways are 14 different ways. All right. All right, so Baseball League has nine teams. During the season, each of the nine teams plays exactly three games with each of the other teams. What is the total number of games played? So we know team one has to play team two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We know team two needs to do the same thing, but they've already played team one here. So they start by playing team three, team four, team five, 
team six, team seven, team eight, and team nine. Team three starts, they've already played team one, they've already played team two. They don't play themselves, so they start by playing team four, then five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine. If I look at this, there's a pattern that is emerging, meaning team one played eight games. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Team two played one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games. Team three played one, two, three, four, five, six games. So every time we go one more team, they play one less game. So team one plays eight, team two plays seven, three, six. So four will play five, five will play four, team six will play three, team seven will play two, team eight will play one, and team nine has already played all the other teams at this point. So if I look at all the total games played, one plus two is three, plus three is six, plus four is 10, plus five is 15, plus six is 21, plus eight is 28, plus eight is 36 games. So for each team to play every team once, they play 36 games, but they play three games with each of the other teams. So I multiply this by three and I get 108 games are played. And that is how you do those three problems. How do I stop this, Kirk? How do I do?